Hey there, it's Mike Wise with Capstone Direct Mortgage. And again, we're talking about affordability here. We've shown you two other videos. One, the affordability of a seller paid buy down and just how that works. The second one was, hey, let's put in an offer, make it a real live situation and put in an offer using the seller paid buy down. Now we're gonna show you actually how to put in a super strong offer on a house. Maybe a house that you really, really want or it's brand new to the market and you wanna come out with a really strong offer on the purchase price. So again, we work with your real estate agent to make sure that these all work out the way that we want them to. There's compliance issues that we have to deal with, but uh, this is how it works. Let's just use an $850,000 purchase price where you get a loan amount of $680,000 at an interest rate, and again, the interest rates don't really matter, it's just the concept that we're trying to get through to you on this. So let's say the interest rate is 6.5%, your APR is 6.58%, and your payment ends up being about $4,298 in this instance. Your cash to close is about $178,000, and right now we're not gonna talk about any monthly savings. Again. This is a house that you really, really want and you wanna put in a strong offer and you want your payment to actually go down as well. So this is an affordability issue where you actually get the house and your payment goes down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in an $865,000 offer. Your loan amount goes up to $692,000, but you use $14,000 of that increased purchase price and ask the seller for $14,000 worth of seller credit. That's gonna get you an interest rate of 5.75% and an APR of 6.012. Your payment goes down to $4,038 per month. Your cash to close is about $181,000. And get this, with the higher purchase price and the higher loan amount, you're saving $259 per month on your mortgage payment versus the 850 purchase price. So let's just say, maybe I'm not gonna put quite a strong offer in there and we're gonna go in at $860,000. So if you do an $860,000 purchase price, 20% down is gonna be a $688,000 loan. The buy down in this instance is only about $7,000. So your interest rate is gonna go down to 6.125 your APR 6.297, and your payment is gonna be $4,180 per month, and the cash to close is about $180,000 per month, and your monthly savings on this particular scenario is about $117 per month. It's not quite as strong, and in my opinion, in this instance, your cash to close is only $181,000 versus $180,000, why wouldn't you try and put in a $865,000 purchase price? I'll go a little bit further here to give you a win-win for both you and the sellers. So the sellers, we're gonna sell for $850,000. They're now selling for $865 minus the $14,000 in seller credits. So they actually get, it's not a lot, but it's $1,000 more than what they were gonna get at the, at the list price of $850,000. In the less strong offer, you're actually getting the $7,000 credit. You're offering $860, so the seller is gonna pick up an actual $3,000 more on this offer, and your payment is gonna be lower than it would be from the list price offer that we discussed. With the seller paid buy down and your strong offers and working with you and your real estate agent as a team, we can put together a competitive offer to help you lower your payments. If you wanna learn more about these, we have a couple of other affordability uh, videos that you can review. The links are below and I'd love to talk to you more about it. Give me a call when you can. This is another episode of Mortgage Wise with Mike Wise at Capstone Direct. Oh,